Hi, it's Nancy Westfall here to show you how to design a cookie cutter using CookieCAD. I teach people how to design cookie stencils and cookie cutters in the Colorful Cookie Club. We have an awesome time learning to design. It's lots of fun, so check it out at thecolorfulcookie.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the letter A and add the supports across the center. So come and follow along as I show you how to design a cookie cutter using CookieCAD. You want to head on over to cookiecad.com and click on design your own cookie cutter. Then you're going to come right down here where it says click or drag files to upload. I'm going to click there and I'm going to bring in the letter A. And I'm using a PNG file with a transparent background, but you can also use a JPEG. I'll click open. And CookieCAD will flip this cutter for me after it traces so that it is facing the right direction when I cut it out of the cookie dough. You can order this cutter. They'll print it and send it to you from the clip art that you upload. But today I'm showing you how to do the free download. It'll be an STL file that you can then slice and turn into a G code and print on your 3D printer. So click free download right here. And this is where we change our measurements. And you're going to notice the center of that A disappeared. That's because I need to come right down here and on imprint, I'm going to click edge trace. And then you're going to see that counter and that letter A come back. So obviously if I download this and print it, this little piece is going to be separate. And some people might want to do it that way, but I'd rather cut it out all at once. So I'm going to put that center bar across the middle after I get my cookie cutter set up the way I want it. The first thing I'm going to do is change it to 88.9 millimeters. And that's on the longest side. You can also choose the width and the height if you'd rather. The blade depth is going to be this part, which is called the cutting edge, or what I call the cutting edge. I'm going to set that at 17. The thickness for my blade or the cutting edge, I like to be at 0.8 millimeters. We cannot create an extra blade on a cookie cutter that has the center bar. So if you click edge trace, you will not be able to create that support. So we're going to skip the extra blade on this one. We're going to come down here to the handle. For the height of my handle, I'm going to set that at 5 millimeters. And then on the width of the handle, we have to be careful with these because this will get too close. Um, I can set the width at 5. I, I normally set it at 6, but it's getting closer and closer. So I'm just going to leave that number at, let's leave that at 4. So the handle height is 5 and the width is going to be 4. Now let's create that crossbar for support. I'm going to come down here and on center bar, I'm going to choose vertical and you'll see it appear and that's not what we want. We don't want vertical for this one. We want to choose horizontal and it'll go right across the center and I'm going to widen that up a little bit so it really connects to both of these pieces here so it's a sturdy cutter. I'm going to set this at 15. And it's going to be wide enough that it covers this whole thing. And this part, when I cut this out of the dough, this is going to be nice and sturdy. You can also lower this. You can set it to anything you want. You could even set it to eight. And it's just going to make it thinner or more narrow. But I wanted it to come clear up here across the top. So my preference was somewhere around 15. See, I can change these settings all that I want and it'll just keep uh, changing my cutter until I get it just the way I like it. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to come right down here and I'm going to click download STL. If I wanted to share this file, I'll click share. And you need to make sure that if you are going to be sharing this file that you have permission to use this file commercially or that you've uh, purchased the license or asked the person who created the clip art or the lettering. Now I purchased a commercial use font, so I'm okay if I want to share this with someone. But make sure you have the rights to use whatever you're using. You can copy this link and share it with anybody you want. I'm going to close that because I want to download the STL to my computer. And it takes just a minute to think, so I'm going to write 
or type in A. I've already saved one here. I'm going to bring this to my circus folder because our theme for this month was circus and the club. And I'm going to save it right there. And you can see it's going to save it as a standard tessellated geometry file format. That's what STL stands for. I'll click save. And now it's on my computer, ready for me to put into my slicing software and print on my 3D printer.